Hello, everyone, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. Uh, my name is Mark Richards, and in this lesson, number 192, uh, we'll continue with identifying architecture components uh, by looking now at a good approach, which is called the workflow approach. Uh, you can get a listing of all the lessons I do in Software Architecture Monday at my website at developer2architect.com slash lessons. Now, two weeks ago, uh, we saw one technique of identifying components in lesson 191. And that technique is actually called the entity trap. Trap should be a good clue that this is not a good approach. Well, in this lesson, I will show you one of the two really good approaches for identifying architectural components. Uh, like the past two lessons, uh, we'll stick with our example of the SysOp squad. Uh, in lesson 190, uh, we created a logical architecture uh, for this particular architecture kata or case study. And then we saw the entity trap as an example of an architecture um, for this particular system. Now, this is a trouble ticket system where if customers have problems with their electronic equipment they purchased from us, uh, they can choose to purchase a support plan and enter a ticket if they have a problem. And then our customer facing experts in the field will come to your home or office and fix your problem. In lesson 190, um, I showed you this logical architecture. And in the last lesson, we said, well, how do we create this? How do we identify components? Well, <laughs> two weeks ago in lesson 191, uh, we saw the entity trap, not a good approach. Let me show you another common approach for creating the initial components in a logical architecture, and that's called the workflow approach. We start with a blank slate and say, well, I'm not sure how to go about creating a logical architecture for this system. So we think about the overall major workflow. Now, if you haven't looked at Lesson 190, I would recommend pausing this video and going back to 190 and watching that first because it does show more details about uh, the SysOp Squad case study. But customers first register with a site. Um, once they do this, now they can create a ticket if they have a problem. Well, the system assigns a ticket. And then we notice that that ticket then gets routed to the expert's mobile device. Uh, the expert, uh, well, then the customer is notified that the expert is on their way. Uh, the expert fixes the problem and then completes the ticket. Uh, when a ticket is completed, uh, we send a survey. And then finally, um, hopefully, we receive that survey from the customer. So this is kind of a main happy path workflow. And any given problem, any given system or product, uh, we can take one of the major workflows, write out the major steps, and now say, who should do these? That who being a logical component in the architecture. Well, we have no components. So let's say, well, customer registration. Customers register with a site. Um, the workflow approach is a way of extracting major actions, things, that need to happen in the system. <clears throat> now we have creating a ticket. Well, we already have a component out there, customer registration. So we ask, hmm, should perhaps create ticket um, be handled by customer registration? Is it, no, that doesn't make any sense. But we do have a component out there. This shows that not every step in a workflow will necessarily be a separate component. But in this case, customer registration doesn't make sense, so we'll say ticket creation. <clears throat> now, assigning a ticket, we could use either of these two architectural components, but uh, let's create another one because that is kind of a different kind of thing, finding a particular expert once a ticket's been created. Now we have to route the ticket. Uh, we could have assignment do that routing, by the way. Um, but in this case, I'm going to have a separate component to deal with connecting to the mobile device and sending that information up and waiting for a confirmation. Notifying a customer, none of these four make sense for that. So let's create a customer notification. So you can kind of see this approach, in fact, of what we're doing. Each of the steps, we're reviewing the initial components that we have 
to see if any of those could take on that responsibility. If not, well then we create a new component. And then for ticket completion, we'll say, uh, or com completing a ticket, we'll say ticket completion, uh, send a survey, survey sender, and to receive it, we'll do a survey receiver. And once we start identifying these components, now we can start creating our logical architecture diagram where we start to identify not only the user interactions, but the interactions between each of these components and which one has to kind of kick off uh, the next step in that process. At this point, now we can start grouping those components by domains. Uh, survey is one kind of thing. We'll create that as a survey domain. Our customer registration, we'll put that in a customer domain and ticketing domain here. Now, it's important to note here that this workflow approach, and the primary purpose of it, is to create initial core components of our system, knowing that these will likely change as we start to learn more about the system, as we start to get more requirements and user stories, uh, additional features. Uh, we may break apart some of these components. We may put some of them together. Certainly, we'll be creating additional components throughout uh, that life cycle of that particular product. And so this is a pretty solid approach for understanding the problem without having many requirements and creating an initial logical architecture that we can now iterate on. Well, this has been Lesson 192 showing you this workflow approach. Now, in two weeks, uh, we'll kind of end this little series uh, by showing uh, yet one other approach to identifying these logical components to be able to create a logical architecture. So stay tuned in two weeks for that next lesson, 193, uh, where we'll take a look at another approach for identifying architecture components. Uh, thank you so much for listening.